Hi, welcome to your readings at the round table. This is your numerology for January 2023. I have changed this several times, actually. I'm just going to be honest with you. I just couldn't help it. After I did the live a couple of weeks ago, I decided that I would change like the numerology that I was doing for 2023. I would change how I was doing it. So I spent a lot of time re-recording it. So it should be out January 1st, maybe the 2nd or the 3rd. You just never know. But it will apply for all of January. And um, I want to go over one more time with how to create or how to calculate your personal year. So um, this is for all life path numbers. I want you to remember again how I calculate life path numbers. I don't, some teachings are a little different, um, but I see the life path as just your birthday. I don't do names anymore. I just do birthday. I will do names for some of my clients, especially when they're creating um, businesses and they want to calculate the numerology for their business or, you know, something like that. Um, but I've also done another tutorial that teaches you how to do that to calculate your life path number, just use your birthday. Um, and I don't have it in the thing. Never mind. <laughs> just use your birthday, month, day, and year, and add it all up together. If you come out with a two, a four, a six, or an eight, please re-add the numbers to see if it comes out as an 11, a 22, a 33, or a 44. Those are master numbers, and we do not reduce those numbers. We keep them at that level, at, at 11, 22, 33, and 44. Um, they're not, it's not that master numbers are better than the rest of the numbers. They're not. They're just a little different. It's just a little bit of a different vibration. Not better, just a different vibration. So just make sure that you're calculating your life path number correctly, okay? Some people see this as like your um, like your destiny number, and that's fine. Whatever you want to call it, this is what I call it, okay? Just from teachings that I've resonated with. And I love taking numerology classes because I like seeing how different people put it into play. Um, my friend, Teresa Wilson, when she teaches numerology, I just like to take her class because I like taking classes from her, but I like how she approaches the numerology. I like the texts that she uses. So if you find other numerology teachings, I encourage you to take them. And that way you can put together what resonates for you in your life. All right. So that being said, I want to address how to calculate your personal year just one more time, because some of you, I, I know that was a long live that I did. It was like an hour and something long. So you don't have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> um, but I want to tell you how to calculate your personal year for 2023. Okay. So this is it down here in the ticker and I can't make it stop. I would, but I can't. So um, your personal year equals the current year, which is 2023, and that's a seven, by the way, that's a seven year, plus the day of your birth, plus the month of your birth. So I have an example of September 10th, because that was my great grandfather's birthday, and you know he's passed away. So you can, the example that I'm using is nine plus 10 plus seven. So do you see how that, that adds up? Okay. So I want you to look how, and that by the way is 16, 26. So he would be in an eight year if he was still alive. That would be his personal year. Everyone that is alive right now is under the umbrella of 2023. So that's the seven year that we're in. The seven year that we're in is a spiritual connection year. Spiritual connection to each other, to the universe, to nature. Um, it's a time of spiritual study and expanding our spiritual knowledge or our metaphysical knowledge, if you want to put it that way. It's a time of searching for and recognizing peace, using our own insight, trusting our own judgment, it's a time of philosophy and thought. 
um, introspection, contemplation. Um, and it's also a time of rest. It's a time of rest. Um, the thing here is, is that um, life path seven people are destined to put inte integrity before everything else, before material gain, before power. And that's what this kind of vibration is going to feel like this year. We're going to put our integrity and our intellect above personal gain and power. So this is, this is an important lesson for this year. And it's going to apply to everybody, no matter what your personal year is. So look at it as a series of umbrellas. Okay. So everybody's under the seven umbrella. Then the next part of the umbrella is your personal year. So with like my great grandfather's number, nine plus 10 plus seven, September 10th, he's in an eight year. So his spiritual connection, his spiritual study, his spiritual expansion, or his integrity and intellect would apply to his abundance. It would apply more to, um, it would apply to his abundance and his understanding of like the infinite supply, his power, let's say his, but it's also his inspiration and his time of service. So this would be, for example, this would be a time for him to be giving his, um, his time of service to something in the spiritual nature, or it would be time for him to be focusing his abundance in a spiritual way. I know it's, it can get complicated, but I'm going to try to go through that as I go through some of these readings and maybe even put it out in a separate reading for personal years. But I just wanted you guys to understand this is what's going on. So look at your life path number or look at the number for your personal year and listen to that number in the month of January and listen to what the definition of that number is. So if your personal year is a seven and you're under the umbrella of a seven, you know what that means. So listen to the six number and see if it applies like to your personal year. Um, listen to the two, if that applies to your personal year and see what the two means and see how it's going to apply to that spiritual connection, that spiritual like expansion, that spiritual study and trusting your own judgment. Are you going to be philosophical about one of these things? It's going to tie in with your personal year. I promise. <laughs> But this is what the umbrella is. So it's, this is a really great thing. I think this is awesome. And I wish that I had done this for myself earlier than I did last year, but in 2022, well, actually, technically I'm still in 2022. <laughs> in 2022, I didn't do that for myself until things started happening for me. And then I was like, oh my gosh, it's a nine year for me. And we were under the umbrella of a six year in 2022. And that's a lot of family connections. It's a lot of our close connections. It's a lot of community connections. Um, it's also a time of harmony. And my personal year was a nine. So it was transitions with all of those things. And it was a very transitional year for me. So I encourage you to look at it in those terms when you calculate this. And if you have questions, you can always email me here at metaphysicalroundtable at gmail.com. And I swear I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can just put, say, questions about numerology. Maybe it'll even inspire me to do another live. So um, you can email me. It may take me a few days to get back to you because I'm still trying to... Um, I'm still trying to work with a couple of people to help me out with all of my social media and all the stuff that I've got going. So I appreciate your patience. I will get back to you. It just may take me a little bit of time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but here's hoping that 2023 is a very blessed year for all of us. Thank you again for watching me here at Readings at the Roundtable. I really appreciate all of your support. 
and I look forward to reading for you in 2023, both with your weekly zodiac and with your monthly numerology. So um, your monthly numerology um, will be following this video, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful new year and a very happy January and a beautiful and blessed 2023. Bye. Thank you.